helping miracles happen in mid-Missouri. I believe in miracles. The Missouri Credit Union Miracles for Kids Radiothon on Y107. Become a miracle maker today. 866-970-4483 is the number to do that. You can also donate online thanks to A1Containers at Y107.com. We are looking for 25 miracle makers this hour. And if you become a, well, if you donate anything over $40 this hour, you actually go in the running for a four-pack of tickets to see the Cardinals in action, which is pretty exciting. Um, We are here, speaking of miracles made, we are here with Miracle Kids. Max and parents Mark and Elena. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> doing great. I will have you put the microphone up really close when you're talking. Um, and Cosmo is on with me again. Welcome hello. back, Cosmo. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> so um, Max was born a preemie. Um, we've, we've heard a lot of these preemie stories, and they're all different and all that. Um, Elena, tell me, there's one part of him being so small, though, that that you love to talk about. I want to hear that. So um, one of my favorite Max stories is the first time I got to hold him, which was exactly one month after he was born. And um, when I got to hold him, they put him right next to you, and it's called kangarooing. And he went up underneath my shirt right next to me and he held he hung out there with me for a good two hours while we um worked on his body temperature regulation and his respiratory rate regulation and all these different things that were was helping him but it was really helping me as a mom well yeah you hadn't had the chance to even talk to or like hold him for a month i hadn't held him i was scared that if i did touch him that I was going to um, knock a line out or knock his breathing tube out or do something to hurt him. So it took a lot for me to get to the place where, okay, it's going to be okay that I do this. And then when when I got to do it, I mean, it just it melted my heart. It, it made me, for the first time, feel like a mom because I hadn't, I had not had the connection of him being a baby yet. I mean, to me, he was just a kid inside that isolate and then when I got to hold him and touch him and feel him he became mine he was my baby so it was it was it was exciting and a circus of emotions because oh, absolutely you wait a month to finally get him and you're like nope I am not letting go <laughs> yeah. and then you have to obviously so they can save his life absolutely yes and he had to behave that whole time breathing and <laughs> keeping um, his heart rate where it needed to be and keeping his temperature where it needed to be and all the things to keep going and sometimes he didn't like to behave too much when he was a preemie <laughs> is that like now or is that different oh, no, okay <laughs> just like now true yeah. no yeah <laughs> now kangarooing is usually done actually for a specific purpose not just to let you hold him which was a great benefit why why, why do the kangarooing? So kangarooing has been shown to help babies keep their temperature. So that would mean like he could come out of the isolate. He could keep his temperature without having to have all the extra heat within the isolate. It also can help regulate their breathing pattern to be more normal. Um, that would help him to start being able to get off a ventilator. Um, and the same thing with heart rate, keeping his heart rate in a, a safe and more normal um, time. And so all of those things, him being able to smell me and feel me and hear my heartbeat and things that he was used to feeling when he was inside of me, it, it, another reason that it's it's good for him to kangaroo. Yeah. Well, and now you look at... All the activities, you know, now you guys are running crazy basketball, football, whatever. What's your favorite sport to play? Depends uh, on the season? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That sounds like a, a classic American boy, right? I just finished basketball. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd you do? What'd you like? What'd you like playing about basketball? What's your favorite part? <laughs> Too many to count. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> defense. Defense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you look like you could be a little bulldog on defense. Your buddy's slacking a little bit. Steal it and run down and throw one up for two, right? Most fouls on the team? Is that what we said? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got the mom death stare. I'm like, I'm going to say what you said. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so troublemaker indeed is, hey, is really where we're hey. saying here. <laughs> I mean, you, you get to do a lot of things today. Yeah. I mean, do you... Has your life been impacted? I know you don't remember your being a baby, right? But yeah. like, has your life day to day been impacted by that? <laughs> Do you feel any different? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, you have. Yeah. Don't you have something special? Um, what do you What do you call those? You have You have scars on your wrist from tinsels? where? Tinsels. Tinsels. Yeah. What What were the tinsels? Do you remember? <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Scars. Yeah. Scars. The ivy. From where the ivy was. I loved that story that you had told, said that he came up to you, Elena, and was like, what are these tinsels on me? Well, I, mean, that's I had what to they be like, like, what are, what tinsels? Where? Show me. I was really concerned. <laughs> I, mean, I guess we're just called tinsels. Yeah. Yeah. You know well, what? Yeah. I like it. It's better than scars, right? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, I think one of my other favorite parts, because um, I personally love traveling. I love going to new places. Um, how, how long have you had a passport now? <laughs> Do you even remember getting a passport in the first place? Five years? <laughs> a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two years old when you first got a passport. Uh, I know you're not going to list off a bunch of places no. that you've been, but uh, I do remember you talking about there was one that you guys had been on recently that you really enjoyed. Hawaii. Hawaii, Whoa. yeah. Uh, and, and what was your favorite part of that? It was a cruise, right? Yeah. 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 What was your favorite part of that? Probably going to see the islands and... Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's Hawaii. What's not yeah. to like, right? That cruise ship's probably bigger than some oh, of those smaller snorkel. islands. I went, oh no, that's funny. Snorkeling? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? You have a bad snorkeling story. Oh, oh boy. A bad snorkeling uh, story. Oh, no. <laughs> so. If you could see the wheels turning in his eyes right now, <laughs> you can Are you hear. looking at an eel? <laughs> Let's just say it's not good that his dad's name is Mark, and there's also a sea creature called a shark. Oh, Uh-oh. okay. I, I was hearing, she was pointing out, Mark, Mark, pointing out like a something, I don't know. And then I was hearing, I was hearing shark, shark. So I was like, I was like a dog. Like a shark. And I'm like, I thought you said shark. <laughs> the fastest you've ever swam. Yeah, See a new like, sport. You need to get into swimming. And then everyone came to the shore and they're like, why are you crying? And I'm like, because I heard shark, shark. <laughs> nope, this Mark. Yep, yeah. this dad's name. I bet now you hear dad's name still. You'll be 30 one day yeah. at a wedding or something and you'll go, remember that time? Yeah, you'll always hear... So technically, then he is Daddy Shark. Doot, doot, doot. Oh okay, I'm sorry. The look I got from him now. I'm gonna just go to my room. Mark, if anybody's listening right now, um, and they're like, eh, maybe I'll be a miracle maker. I don't know. What would you tell them? Why should they become a miracle maker? The kids really need it. Um, no, no family is is turned away. For- for, for uh, lack of ability to pay, so it's really important that um, there, there are people that, that give and be miracle makers for, for the kids. Uh, just fund so many of the, the programs like music therapy and child life, and that is so, so important. Um, they're, they're really nervous when they're in there, and they, they really need programs like that. Um, even more so than nervous, even more nervous than like adults. I mean, yeah. they're kids, they don't well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, know what's going on. Yeah, it's a kid, it's hard to understand. It's super scary, you're in a yeah. different place and yeah. all yeah. these kind of scary things. So, yeah. And yeah, they do an amazing job of trying to make those things not as scary already. They, they are amazing. But it's, it's hard to hide the obvious sometimes. And so to be able to have those distractions, like the music therapy, like you mentioned, and other programs and... And just the doctors and nurses in general, they always are putting the kids first. Absolutely. 
And so if you are listening and you're like, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's become a miracle maker. That number, 866-970-4483. I have heard that most of the phones are back in service now. That's so a good thing. You can call. If you can't still call, you can donate online thanks to A1 Containers at Y107.com. Um, but become a miracle maker so that you can have more kids like Max. Max, what do you? any final thoughts? No. <laughs> Shrug. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the 18th annual Missouri Credit Union Miracles for Kids Radiothon on Y107.